You have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review is Candy Cane Lane. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, let's get into it. Now, I, I watched this movie actually when it first came out. I was a little late to even reviewing it. Um, it just tells you how inspired I was just to review it, but I figured, you know, it's more content. Might as well review and put it out there. Uh, let's go over the cast. Eddie Murphy plays as Chris Carver. Tracy Ellis Ross plays as Carol Carver. Julian Bell plays as Pepper. Jania Walton plays as Joy Carver, which is the daughter of um, Chris and Carol. Thaddeus J. Mixon plays as Nick Carver, son of Chris and Carol. Madison Thomas plays as Holly Car Carver. Uh, that's pretty much the uh, bulk of the cast. Um, cameo appearance by David Allen Greer plays as Santa Claus at the end. And uh, DC Young Ply plays as Josh, which is like a street reporter who got the hookup from his um, friend. And then you had a... Uh, that's pretty much... Um, that's pretty much it. So what happens is it's Christmas time, Candy Cane Lane... Uh, every year, there's a contest and see whose house is in the most Christmas spirit. Piss out the best displays. So, you got um, one family who pretty much, they do inflatable everything. So, of course, the inflatables is on like a time. So, certain time periods of the day or at night or whatever, the inflatables pop up. And so, it's inflatables all over the house. So, that's their theme. Chris Carver, he's very crafty with his hands. So he got a lot of uh, Christmas things that he put out, but it's no color to it. It's just basically carved out, but it's very, it's greatly carved out, but it just looked like wood. So what's happening with him, his wife is up for promotion. She runs a warehouse that is doing great distribution. So she's looking for a promotion. He has his youngest daughter, of course, in the spirit of Christmas. His son is a drummer. Well, no, in a, in a band, but he's like a like a two played the he played the um what is it the the two I can't think of what that instrument is. It escapes me right now. Um, so uh, he's and he's struggling in math. So they're pretty much telling him you need to. Uh, Go a different route because ain't nobody really been that successful um, um, doing using that intro that in, uh, instrument that you use. So then the oldest daughter, she's up senior year. She runs track. She wants to go to Notre Dame. Meanwhile, her parents want her to go to USC where they graduated from. So what happens with Chris? He gets fired. Pretty much. He get let go. And right around Christmas. So he still wants to create the uh, Christmas um, joy. And he doesn't want, he tells his wife, but he doesn't want the kids to know. So he's pretty much like, okay, we got to go out like the, this year's contest for The house, the family that wins the best house or whatever. This year's contest, they get a hundred thousand dollars. So they think. So he like, I gotta go all out. So everywhere he goes, all the supplies for Christmas decorations is out. He's driving around and he finds this strange looking house out of nowhere. Or well, not house, like store out of nowhere. And he goes in it and it just it's a lot of magical stuff, but it looks real weird. This is where Pepper comes in. She pretty much, she's not paying attention. He wants this um, 12 um, days of Christmas big thing that he could buy to decorate his house. And she pretty much said, hey, well, you got to sign this. He's not paying attention to what he signed. Meanwhile, there's these little toys that are alive that are talking to him and he's not paying attention at the time little his daughter is but he's not paying attention so from there he goes home 
the first event happens for to um, put your house on notice. Every other house is putting theirs on notice. When it comes times for him, they're pretty much nothing happens, but he kept trying and eventually it popped up. This big bright light of this 12 days of Christmas popped up and it gave a big light. So that placed him in the game. Meanwhile, all that stuff that he did, funny things start happening where the um, five golden rings, two turtle doves, all that type stuff, they start coming alive out of this big contraption that he had or whatever, start coming alive and then it went from there. So I'm giving play by play, but overall what happens is that he eventually, if he doesn't, he got to find the five gold rings. If he doesn't find the five gold rings, he becomes one of the little toys that he's seen because those toys were trying to warn him not to sign the receipt from Pepper. Pepper used to be an elf with Santa. She went rogue. Now she wants to spread bad joy to people who um, love Christmas or whatever and make them little toys or whatever. So the mission is to find the gold rings. Of course, a bunch of different things happen to try to keep you interested in the movie. And they eventually at the end, Santa uh, flies in, told Pepper, you know, you're wrong for this. And they eventually get the five rings. But uh, Chris turned into a little toy at first, but he got turned back into a human. And Pepper at the end got turned into a toy and they wanted to keep her on ice. So that was pretty much the movie. It's Christmas time and the spirit of watching movies. Uh, it's an okay watch, but it definitely, um, it could have been better. So out of my four star rating system, I'm going to just give this a two out of four stars. Um, I, it was a bit underwhelming. That's why I didn't uh, review it right away. I should have just reviewed it and just put it out there. But uh, nevertheless, if you're looking for something to watch, as you can see, it is on Prime Video. It's just something to watch. Two out of four stars. It definitely could have been better. Till next time.